Oh, welcome to my channel, Out and About with Martin. We're back here again at Sherwood Pines in Robin Hood Country. We're going to be cycling the 12 miles up to Clumber Park following the National Cycle Network Route 6. The route starts here at Sherwood Pines Cafe, which is next to the tourist centre. Heading downhill from the cafe, we turn left onto the fire road. If you come to the first junction of fire roads, we turn right. Now passing Sherwood Pines Caravan Park on our right. As you leave the caravan park behind you, you take this first track on your right. This is where disaster strikes. Yes, I have a puncture. At first I didn't think this would be a problem as I carry a spare inner tube. But the situation is about to get much worse. I fitted the spare inner tube, but as you can see the tyre is destroyed and the bike is unrideable. I am now in a predicament. The car park here at Sherwood Pines is nearly two miles away, but much more worryingly, earlier today I left my car at Clumber Park, 12 miles away, with the intentions of filming my return journey to Clumber Park. I am now stranded with an unrideable bike, 12 miles away from my car. I now have to formulate a plan to get myself out of this situation. I decide to push the bike two miles back to the Tourist Information Centre at Sherwood Pines. Well, I'm back here at the Visitor Centre at Sherwood Pines. I was right, the bike wasn't rideable. The second inner tube blew, we were just with pushing the bike. So I'm going to have to get a taxi back to Columba Park and then come back and pick my bike up. So I'll see you later. Well, here we are, one week later, back at Sherwood Pines, going to continue with the video. Just like to give a big shout out to the staff at Tourist Information Centre that went out of their way to help me get a taxi back to Columba Park. The bike is now fixed with an upgraded rear tyre, so we'll pick up the video where we left off. Enjoy. As we ride down the side of the caravan park, we turn left onto the fire road. We now come to a fork in the fire road and we take the right hand fork starting to leave Sherwood Pines. Now negotiating the large boulders that have been put across the pathway to stop off-road motorcyclists entering Sherwood Pines. Going under the bridge we take a right hand fork. We are now joining the National Cycle Network Route 6 which will take us all the way to Clumber Park. Route 6 is one of the longest cycleways in the UK. It stretches 406 miles taking you from London all the way up to the Lake District. We are now passing Vicar Water on the left, popular place for fishermen. In the distance there you can see the two headstocks over the shafts at Tripton Colliery. The colliery was closed in 2003 
and the headstocks have been given a Grade 2 listed building status. Now crossing the main road at the Fox and Duck public house. This is one of five roads that we have to cross. Take care when crossing these roads, they are national speed limit roads. Yes, I am jumping the red light. I've been waiting here several minutes and the lights do not appear to work for cyclists. After watching the video back, I did notice there's a button to press to change the lights while you exit the car park. Watch carefully, you'll see a large branch fall out of the tree just in front of me. Now entering Columba Park.
you'll see the house on your left. We then turn left and then right and follow one of the forest roads. Now passing over Clumber Lake and then taking the right fork. Crossroads, we turn right and we're now heading towards the car park. We turn left and we get to the fencing. We head back to the car park hope you enjoyed this video if you did remember to click on the like button if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel it does help my channel grow and so until next time on out and about with martin bye